I would thank you so much for the recognition and the time, and I would uh, yield five minutes to Representative Stansberry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise this evening as a proud daughter of New Mexico to discuss the transformative impacts of the American Rescue Plan for our state on this beautiful St. Patrick's Day during Women's History Month to highlight the impacts the Rescue Plan has had for our working families, our kids, and for our entire nation. It's been a difficult year, a difficult several years, as our communities have experienced the impacts of the pandemic and the economic struggles that have come with it. When we think back to even a year ago, last year at this time, we were unable to gather safely, unemployment was at an all-time high, and so many of our families were struggling and businesses closed. One year ago, this body passed the American Rescue Plan. One year later, people are still struggling in our country and supply chains and our economy are still recovering, but so much has changed. Our economy is growing at a faster rate than in any point since the 1980s. More jobs have been created in one year than ever in our nation's history. Wages are up and more small businesses are opening up across the country than ever before because the American Rescue Plan changed the way in which families put food on the table, provide for their families, and so that our parents and women in particular can return to work and have helped our schools stay open and our families and small businesses stay afloat. So let's get to the heart of the matter today, which is how this uh, particular piece of legislation has transformed the lives of so many New Mexicans and how our communities have benefited from these historic policies. The people of New Mexico and especially our, our women are strong, resilient, the centers of our families and the roots of our communities. Our women carry us, nurture us, and work hard every day so that we can succeed, like the women in my own life, my own mother, my sister, and the trailblazing women who came before us and support us every day in our communities. But the challenges and burdens of this pandemic and the past two years have fallen unequally and disproportionately on women who have exited the workforce at unprecedented numbers and on our kids who are resilient yet still struggling. As families struggle to make ends meet, keep a roof over their heads and put, a, put food on the table, women have had to dig deep and find creative solutions. And these burdens have fallen disproportionately, in particular on our Latina and Hispano women, on our indigenous women, our black women, and women struggling economically every day to make ends meet. There are countless stories of struggle and resilience and survival in our communities and the impacts of the American Rescue Plan. One from New Mexico's first congressional district is that of April Trujillo and her four boys in Albuquerque. After losing her husband in September of 2020, Derek Trujillo, a small business owner who was a, owned a small carpet cleaning business, their family struggled in a way that they had never done so before. But they were ultimately able to keep a roof over their heads and keep food on the table because of the transformative impacts of the child tax credit and rental assistance programs provided by the American Rescue Plan. It is by no means a stretch to say that these programs help to catch this family as they face potentially becoming homeless at one of the most difficult moments in their life. And that is exactly what this American Rescue Plan was designed to do and why we must put these transformational investments in child care, in, tax, in the child tax credit, in housing, in food assistance, in our community well-being, and continue them into the future because they catch families like the Trujillo family when they need it most and will help to lift up millions of Americans who are facing economic struggles and create opportunities for families for generations to come. So as we celebrate the one year anniversary of the American Rescue Plan and celebrate the passage of a historic infrastructure package a few months ago and crucial budget legislation just this last week, 
These bills have had a transformational impact on our economy, on jobs, and families across the country. But we acknowledge that the work is not over. We must extend the child tax credit. We must expand programs to tackle housing and hunger. We must invest in a universal child care system and caring for our elders. We must tackle drought and climate change. And we must stand with Ukraine and global democracy. This is the work ahead, and we stand together, united, to get it done. Thank you, and with that, I yield back.